this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a Dogo Argentino also known as the Argentine Mastiff, and a Great Pyrenees, also known as the Pyrenean Mountain Dog, we have compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's begin the fight. Intimidation Factor The Dogo Argentino was developed by Dr. Antonio Norz Martinez and his brother Agustin in Argentina. Their goal was to create an amazing big game hunting dog that would also be a good watch dog and family companion. They proceeded by mixing the old fighting dog of Cordoba with Bulldogs, Pointers, Great Danes, Bull Terriers, Irish Wolfhounds, Boxers, Great Pyrenees, Dog de Bordeaux and Spanish Mastiffs. An adult male Dogo Argentino stands at a height of 24 to 27 inches at the withers, and weighs between 40 to 45 kilograms. They are large, powerful, athletic, muscular dogs with long legs. The Dogo gives the impression of explosive power and energy. Arguably this may be the strongest or and most muscular breed on the planet. While intended for hunting wild boar, these dogs unfortunately entered the fighting ring and have been therefore banned from many countries. Whereas the Great Pyrenees dog is native to the Pyrenees mountain range on the border of France and Spain. Frequently described as majestic and the royal dog of France, Pyrrhus are big, immensely strong mountain dogs widely used throughout France as a livestock guardian. An adult male Great Pyrenees stands at a height of 27.5 to 32 inches at the withers, and weighs between 50 to 54 kilograms. They are large, thickly coated, immensely powerful working dogs, bred to deter, sheep stealing wolves and other predators on snowy mountain tops. However, in terms of intimidation, Adogo Argentino have got all the hallmarks of an intimidating breed as compared to a Great Pyrenees. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino won Great Pyrenees 0 bite force. Among the two, the Dogo Argentino pressure bite top 500 psi. Whereas in case of a Great Pyrenees, we didn't have any information with respect to their bite force. However in our opinion, considering the dog breeds with similar cranial dimensions, we estimate it could be in between 500 to 700 psi. But with no concrete data available to compare, one point to both. Dogo Argentino 2 Great Pyrenees 1 Powerful Guard Dog The Dogo Argentino is a powerful dog with an amazingly powerful dual personality. He is a loving guardian of his family, including children, and fierce hunter capable of taking on a wild boar. However, due to their stamina, persistence and fearlessness, the Dogo Argentino have also been trained and used for fighting roles for much of its history. Today, Dogos are active in many activities beyond hunting. They have worked as military and police dogs, guide dogs, therapy dogs, and search and rescue dogs. Whereas the Pyrenees are natural watch dogs which is a trait that is deeply embedded in their psyche. As informed, they were in charge of protecting the flock from predators like wolves and bears in challenging conditions for centuries. Even today, the Great Pyrenees is considered a fine livestock guarding dog. However in terms of guarding, Adogo Argentino is a powerful guard dog as compared to a Great Pyrenees. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 3 Great Pyrenees 1 Temperament Despite their horrible fighting history, these dogs can be whatever you make them. They are loyal and loving to their family and at the same time fierce and hostile towards anything that is threatening them or their family. They can be strong-headed and can be a problem to handle if not obedience trained and socialized. They need a strong leader who is willing to put time and training into their pet as the Dogo will look for opportunities to try to take leadership from a less dominant human. Whereas the Great Pyrenees are gentle giants with even temper and are perfectly capable of fighting off predators. Years ago they were known for their protectiveness rather than its gentleness. Peers today are mellow companions and vigilant guardians of home and family. In our opinion, a Great Pyrenees has a better temperament over a Dogo Argentino. So one point to Great Pyrenees. Dogo Argentino 3 Great Pyrenees 2 Lifespan The average life expectancy of a Dogo Argentino is in between 10 to 15 years and that of a Great Pyrenees is in between 10 to 12 years. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 4 Great Pyrenees 2 Exercise and Energy Levels The Dogo Argentinos are high maintenance dogs in the exercise department and they should ideally be owned by active people who will develop their athletic ability. 
bodies, they must be given plenty of physical exercise to maintain their superb muscle structure and plenty of mental stimulation to satisfy their desire to work and hunt. They ideally need to be taken out for a walk, a minimum of twice a day for a good hour each time, whereas the peers are not a highly active breed but they need to be given the right amount of daily exercise and enough mental stimulation for them to be truly happy while rounded dogs. They should be given anything from 60 to 80 minutes exercise a day. However, in terms of energy levels, a Dogo Argentino is far more energetic as compared to a Great Pyrenees. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 5 Great Pyrenees 2 Friendly with kids and other pets, both the breeds are known to be good around children's, more especially if they are well bred, even tempered dogs. In case of other dogs and pets, a Great Pyrenees gets on well with the family cat and will tolerate being around other family pets they have grown up with, whereas the Dogos were bred to work well with with other dogs without showing aggression but they still can show aggression which is why it's important they be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly. So one point to Great Pyrenees. Dogo Argentino 5 Great Pyrenees 3. So the winner between the two guard dogs is the Argentine Mastiff. Dogo Argentino.